My ride for the week certainly isn't my normal black SR5 double cab. Ladies and gentlemen, 2024 TRD Pro in the beautiful Terra. Let's take a ride. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. This truck just arrived in my driveway minutes ago. We are taking the first ride together, as we always do, 2024 TRD Pro in the beautiful, one of my favorites, Terra exterior color. Cool thing about 2024 for the TRD Pro, Toyota has finally listened. Black headliner, this is something that is well overdue. You could find the black headliner since 2022 in capstone platinum in 1794 but you could never get it in the trd pro i feel like the black headliner should be on all trims of tundra but when you're getting up into that high number the high luxury trims and you had the black headliner why not the trd pro because this truck msrps for around seventy four thousand dollars, depending on those small little features you add to it like side steps and things like that spray on bed liner but this is an iforce max four by four five and a half foot bed crew max it's the only way you could get this truck it comes in you know terra it comes in ice cap it comes in black and magnetic gray metallic so it's a special tundra as we all know what makes it different from the other i force max tundras same engine same torque same horsepower the real difference with this and every other tundra out there is this is about an inch and a half wider and that's why it has marker lights front and rear uh, and the reason it's wider it's because of the larger over fenders and the offset, all right? This truck, to me, is something that is going to have road appeal. If you buy this, people will ask you about the truck when it comes to the exterior color, and there's not a lot of flair on the outside for a special truck like the TRD Pro, and I love that. It says Tundra in the front, and that's pretty much it on the exterior of the body, right at the upper part of the front bumper has a little tundra in black and in most tundras you would have tundra splashed across the tailgate but this says trd pro so there's not a lot of extra graphics there's not a lot of crazy stuff it says trd pro up where it says i force max on every other tundra so this one is special if you are a toyota tundra enthusiast this is probably the tundra you want if money doesn't matter to you because once again this is a special edition throwing it back to all the toyota racing heritage Ivan Iron Man Stewart, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, this has a Fox suspension on it, BBS Forge wheels, 18-inch uh, tire, Falcon Wild Peak. Uh, it has a TRD skid plate. It just, it has a lot of cool little things that make it different from the other Tundras. The Heritage Grill, again, it's an inch and a half wider. Uh, I absolutely love this truck, and I love that they come out with a special edition color. Some people don't like the fact that usually the year after the special edition color, it goes to some of the other trims of Tundra. Let's see how this thing feels with the iForce Max engine. Here we go. You got the fed in noise from the JBL sound system. Obviously the thing gets up to speed, no problem whatsoever. Uh, it's a very powerful truck. I say this all the time when I drive the iForce Maxes. I drive, if you're new to the channel, a 2023 SR5. So I don't have the hybrid engine, but every time I drive anything that is iForce Max, I always mention how the brakes are something you have to get used to because of the brake regen. They feel different when you hit the brakes. You can kind of feel them catching, but it's just a different feel from regular trucks. You do get used to it over time. Um, I did own a 2022 TRD Pro for about six months before I realized it was way too expensive for my budget. Uh, but that's just something to keep in mind. As far as luxury, and we're going to do a walk around video. The, the video after this will obviously be a detailed walk around of the truck. But as far as features go, I mean, this thing is loaded up. I always say like a limited. You got the JBL sound system. Everything is standard. JBL pano roof here. Uh, you got the heated, ventilated memory TRD Pro soft tech seats. There's camo in here. This is the first TRD Pro Tundra I've driven with the black interior. Uh, the two I've had as press vehicles and the one I owned all had the red interior. So I got to be honest with you. I'm a huge fan of the red, but the black looks perfect, especially with the black headliner they have now. How does the truck drive? How does the truck feel? I'm a huge fan of the Fox suspension, whether it be the last generation or this generation. Very road compliant. A good amount of driver feedback as far as feel of the truck goes. Same thing with the steering. Same thing with this whole new generation platform. 
uh, you do feel what you're going over, but it's not obnoxious. You're not bumping all over the place. And it's not like you're floating on a cloud where you feel nothing. A good amount of driver feedback in the steering wheel and in the suspension. Love the way these TRD Pro suspensions feel. On the old generation body, and that was an old school pickup, um, you know, leaf spring, stuff like that. The suspension did wonders to make that truck drive well. No matter what suspension I drive with this new generation Toyota Tundra, the ground up remodel is literally a ground up remodel and it feels like one. It doesn't feel anything like the last generation. Powerful. The inside, people say, feels a little bit tighter. I don't necessarily feel that. There's still a ton of space in here. This TRD Pro is fitted with the tow mirrors, which is one thing I don't think I would get unless I plan on towing a lot. The regular Tundra mirrors are more than adequate for what you're doing if you're someone who tows every once in a while. These things are gigantic. You still get the blind spot monitoring uh, indicators and all that, but these things are absolutely humongous and they do push out uh, you know, by push of a button down here if you need to, but truck is loaded up nice, truck drives great. Price is high, but don't forget the price is high all the time with these new generation uh, Toyota Tundras, but this special edition, this is going to be one of those trucks that, uh, you know, you're going to end up probably paying MSRP for. I know a lot of these TRD pros around the nation are way up over MSRP, maybe like a $10,000 markup, but worry not. If you do look around, they are out there under MSRP. People have contacted me. In fact, I got a gentleman yesterday hit me up and asked me, um, why can they not find any TRD pros? They want to buy one. And it's funny they say that because around me, I always see a TRD Pro or two at a lot. My local dealership here has had a Terra TRD Pro on their lot for over a month now. But if you have the money and you like the heritage behind it and you want to drive something a little bit different, a little bit special, TRD Pro is the way to go. I love the fact, and this is a question for you on this video. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you wish there was more options for the TRD Pro? Because I love the fact that everything in it just comes standard. There is no really building on this one. So if you were to go sit down in a dealership and tell a salesperson exactly the Tundra that you're looking for, they don't do customer orders with Toyota, but they could look around at their sister dealerships or what their allocations are that are coming in to try to find what you want. But the good news is if you're looking for a TRD Pro, you pretty much tell the salesman, hey, I want a Terra TRD Pro, and it's going to come in one way. The thing you're going to have to choose is tow mirrors or not, side steps, spray on bed liner, stuff like that. But overall, you're always going to get the Pano. You're always going to get the black headliner. You're always going to get JBL. You're always going to get these sweet seats. The only thing you have to really decide for the interior is do you want the red or the black? But in Terra, you could only get the black interior like this. So this truck is awesome. As someone who is a diehard Tundra fan and enthusiast, I love this truck. I wish I was able to keep the black 2022 that I had, but uh, it's very, very expensive. Now, a perfect example of driving with this truck like we're doing over this bridge right now. This is a sectional bridge. We're hitting a lot of bumps. And as you could hear in my voice, it's not changing because this truck floats so nicely over these bumps. It has a nice mid-travel feel to it to where it rides over them so nice. I don't feel it in the truck like I'm all over the place. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. You can just hear it going over each section, but that is it. As far as some other things people talk about with these new generation Tundras, uh, wind noise on the interior, creaking, wastegate issues. I think Toyota has already dealt with most of that. I know the wastegate issue was something they dealt with almost right away. There's no creaking in here. A lot of people always test the center console to see if it will shake or move or make any kind of noise. It's very sturdy. I don't hear any extra noise in here. So as these trucks get a little bit older into this new generation and we get a few model years under it each year, each year, anything that's wrong, it's going to start to tighten up. And eventually you're going to see this truck become something that is just as reliable as all the other Toyota Tundras out there. Quality has always been something that has been in the Toyota Tundra. And of course, in the new generation, there were some road bumps, but they're working through it. QDR is how they live their life. They want that durability. They want that reliability. They want the quality. They want you to be happy as a consumer. At the end of the day, this is something I would consider if you want something special and you have the money, once again, hopefully, we've already started to see incentives come back. Hopefully they get better and better and more people can get into these trucks. What's the thought on the fed in engine noise? I have two thoughts on that. Number one, I don't mind it too much. It has the sound of the old TRD dual exhaust. One thing I will say that's good about it is it's not intrusive. So right now you don't hear anything. 
it's when you put your foot on the pedal, you can kind of hear it. And I mean, like, you know, when you go at a light or something like that, um, it's not intrusive. It's not annoying. It's nothing like that. Um, could I live without it? Sure, I could live without it. I mean, it's not something that is must have. If you get anything with the JBL system, you pretty much automatically get that fake engine noise. And if you don't like it, you can take it to a dealer and have them turn it off. Hold on, we're going through a turn here. Yeah, this thing, everything about these new generation Tundras, there's no body roll, there's no brake dive. They've done a great job with the suspension, with the frame, with everything about the drivability of the truck with this new generation. And when you get into something like a TRD Pro that is special and is one and a half inches wider and has more of an all-terrain Falcon Wild Peak on it, little, uh, you know, tread, aggressive tread on it, you don't feel anything that would make the drive tough or unfun or rough. So once again, in closing, great drive with this truck. I'm going to enjoy my week with it very comfortable and one great thing to say and i think this is a testament to the time and energy toyota has put into this tundra i said to you in the beginning of the video i drive a double cab sr5 trd off-road and that thing cost about i think it was about fifty eight thousand dollars this one here is about seventy four thousand dollars and is trd pro pretty much the top trim not with luxury but the high demand one everybody wants and this truck doesn't feel too different from the regular SR5 TRD. And that's a good thing because obviously you wanna see some of the options loaded into the truck that where's the extra $15,000 coming from. But as far as the drive, it's not like uh, getting into something that is completely different from my SR5. And that's great for those folks that have bought an SR5 out there. Just know that your truck, just because it's a lower trim, it's not a bad truck. This one feels pretty much the same thing, small differences. Obviously this has the iForce Max on it and the big tow mirrors, but overall great driving experience. If I had to give a con right off the bat, it's gonna be the brakes with the iForce Max, but I always say that. Another small con is <laughs> these tow mirrors are so aggressively gigantic, but you let me know what you think in the comments below. Once again, it's a pleasure to drive this. I think Terra is one of the best colors ever offered on the TRD Pro, but it all comes down to you. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. The next video will be the walk around. We'll go through all the options in here. We'll go through everything you get. Once again, standard with the TRD Pro. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. I'm going to go enjoy this beautiful Terra TRD Pro. I'll talk to you guys soon. Be safe, be well.